I just decided to start streaming again real quick, um, real quick, but yeah, I'm gonna be fighting Kieran now. And there's an advertisement, apparently, on my stream. Honestly, I'd probably turn that off if I could, but, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, because I'm fighting Kieran, just getting all the elemental resistances. 41 thunder. Yeah, that seems like enough. Anyway, might as well over-prepare by doing this. I was originally going to take a uh, trip to the Elder Recess, but things didn't really turn out quite right, so I didn't... I didn't die or anything, just didn't really turn out right. Um, I was looking for flourishing gathering points there or something, or maybe even a quest or something, but I saw nothing, so... Nothing, really. That's about that. Oh, and of course the advertisement seems to be a uh, blocking the trap log. Hello, shark! Now that the advertisement is no longer blocking the chat log, I can actually see chat. What a shocker. Anyway, I needed a uh, one more mega nutrient as well, and that should be that. I don't really need these either. Where it's percentage based or something? Hmm. Like the resistances in Dark Souls a, a 3 are percentage based, yeah? Yeah. Why is that too bad in this game? Like, do you mean the drop off or something? I've completely forgotten what I was looking for. So, uh... I guess I could take these. Negative values are just that bad? Do you mean so you don't want any kind of negatives whatsoever in your elements or something? Huh. Interesting. That's not too bad. Especially since the damage values in this game are actually quite high, so those percentages actually matter. Unlike, say, in Dark Souls, where it kind of doesn't matter at the end. Alright, I should probably get the quest first. <laughs> but yeah, that's not too bad. Honestly, percent like I just said, percentage values really are kind of fine in this game. The problem with how um, Dark Souls 3 handled it was the fact that they kind of just became a given. You always had however many resistance to it, and honestly, defense in that game barely mattered in the first place. All you needed to do was wear something, and you already had more than enough. Yeah, dropping the Legiana set ain't too bad of an idea. Personally, I only ever wore it for the, um, for the reward bonus. Back when I was using it. And I eventually drifted away from it, I believe. But I might have still kept it in PS4. I'm not sure. I never got the Valhazic set. I basically just, it just said screw it to getting all the fangs. Like, I was just not doing that. I didn't on this, though. I still need to do it, I believe, for the um, hammer as well. Because um, the hammer that I want is also the Valhazic bit. But that's, um... 
that's really about it. As far as, like, I've got pretty much a full Valhazic set. I mean, outside of maybe getting um, a few of the variants, you know. Hmm. And also, I see it's a thunderstorm because Kieran's about. You know, I'm honestly going to miss the um, the seamless transition between areas. I also really like this detail, because the reason why Kieran's such a problem is because they bring thunderstorms. Is that them? Oh my god, I just passed them on the walkway. Get back here! That's a footprint. Hello. I have no idea what happened there. There we go. Yeah, I've been thinking about Mushroom Mancer just because I've always wondered what it was like. Person needs to stop jumping out the things. Not person. Pony. I mean, the sushi, like the um, the fish scales will also do that as well. Like fish scales give you that as well, and it's quite healing actually from her quickly. Oh, Sounds like a great set to have with. Um, with the friendly jewels and stuff like that to allow you to buff everybody around you. Now look at that, that barely even hurt. That should have destroyed me. Okay, buddy. Yeah, honestly, anybody who's having a problem in this, I guess a, uh... Oh. Oh well. Well, that's because it's supposed to be percentage-based bonuses and, um, like a percentage of the recovery or the effect, and you can't really do percentage of max. You know? I guess, well, you can, but it would be a little bit weird, since there are fixed values for everything else. Instead of just 100%. Like, you'd only need the first, um, value for it, really. Besides, I mean, if you're getting all the other effects, it's not like it really matters at the end. Kieran would stand still long enough for me to start hitting them a bit more hard. God dang. I mean, I guess I'm the crazy one for bringing a greatsword to a Kieran fight. But I mean, hey. That's my fault. I'll deal with it. But yeah, I don't know what each mushroom does, but I really do feel like that if someone was, like, new to the game... Just suggest- oh, they went up. Oh, crap. Um, if someone was new to the game and had a somehow had access to uh, Mushroom Answer, just definitely give them- like, suggest them that. I feel like it would be a lot easier on them if they did that. Just because it would basically add even more potions they could bring, as well as pretty much instant benefits from said potions. Though I still say, probably one of the biggest tips to ever give to anybody new to the series is how to make, um the, like, herbal medicines and stuff like that, because antidotes, especially in other Monster Hunter games, unlike this one, ha are a lot more important, because there's a lot more monsters and stuff that can actually poison you. And a, uh... Like, not having to go through the drinking animation of an antidote is vital. It really is.
thank the resistances. I'm very resistant to thunder, though. This would really be hurting otherwise. Hit the pony. I need to move out of that. There we go. I don't want to be right here. There we go. Thread that needle. I should probably crack this in. Tell my cat to buff up a bit more. Ow, crap. There we go. Got a good hit on. Um, yeah, the arena bow is pretty alright. Um, the innate blast actually isn't that good, though. There's other bows that have more. Let's see if I can turn this around towards him. Nope. No, I spun the wrong direction. That's one thing I'm not really liking about how the greatsword handles in this game. It seems very weird with the camera. Usually it's pretty obvious which direction you're going. Hey, the ice bow ain't too bad either. Uh, at least from what I hear. Again, I'm not really a bow user. Okay, I want to stand right here. I don't want to cross the line. He, he marked the line in which I cannot go past. Anyway. Dang it, I was hoping I could clip the tail with that. Yeah, like I said, I like there is a few things that resist ice, I believe, but like for instance, I believe Palamu actually resists ice, but nothing really too important resists ice. You gotta keep in mind that, as far as I'm aware at least, the, um, the resistances on a monster are a lot more efficient compared to us, basically. So, you definitely do want to be playing towards the elemental weaknesses or strengths of a of a monster if you have it available. It's gonna hit me, isn't it? Oh, no it's not. Sweet. Oh. Oh, it's in uh, shield mode. I just gotta hit it a few times. With the high elder seal, it should go away pretty quickly. Definitely gonna wanna be uh, careful, though. Ugh. Yeah, it's hitting me. Wow! Okay, yeah, 40, 40 thunder resistance makes this fight just any other fight, really. I just got hit by one of their buffed attacks. Holy crap. Who needs thunderproof monotole, eh? Oh, did I finally break the horn? Sweet. Like, keep in mind that right now, my resistance to, um, thunder without food is actually 26. So, what is that? Maybe 15 less than 40? That'd be 35 to 25. So you can get just 25 resistance right off the bat, just from food alone. Also, oh, it's already limping. Oops. I think I've been pretty effective here. I'm trying to hit its tail. And I hit its face again. I'll have to check that out. I really will. Tempered Cure and one-shotting at 40 Lightning Resist doesn't seem very... likely.
Also, I mean, ranged users kind of have a problem in this fight, because if you hit anything but the face, you kind of do either zero damage or, like, no damage. But I do have to say that ranged users also get more elemental resist, if I remember correctly. So, like, ranged users could potentially be better off against this one. I wouldn't consider that strat. Why not latent power instead? That way you don't have to die. Again, I have to see it. Okay, now I'm letting it beat on me. I really should potion up. I didn't grab any of the first aids, did I? Yeah, I didn't. Oops. Using that dodge backwards is perfect. Oh, yep. Done. How fast was that? Less than 15 minutes? You call that an Elder Dragon? God. That was super simple, I'll admit. But yeah, if latent pow uh, power works how I um, how I think it might work, uh, it could potentially be so busted. If you were to stack it with Fortify, though, I can only imagine how little damage you take from anything. Because um, Fortify gives a percentage bonus, if I remember correctly, and so does latent power. And latent power, I believe, activates permanently until you die after taking a certain amount of damage. Which also does exactly the same thing, it gives you permanent bonuses. So I can only imagine how ridiculous that'd get. Speaking of, latent power actually reduces stamina consumption, if I remember correctly. It's stamina consumption as well as increased affinity rate. So I believe that that might actually end up really good on a bow or dual blades as well. Honestly, I'm not a fan of dual blades in this game though, it's more just spamming. Hey, bleeding resistance. God, that was just awful. I was expecting much more of a fight than that, to be honest. I do have to say, though, taking that much damage from the electric attacks when I'm at 41 resistances is kind of scary. But yeah, if I can get my get my hands on a uh, a tempered cure in investigation, I'll have to see if I can maybe design a build that doesn't require fortify or something. I don't believe I'd be able to easily get my hands on that though. And I mean, in four days, a uh, generations ultimate comes out and. I don't really have a capture card to allow me to actually stream that. I would love to, otherwise. That'd be so enjoyable. Also, did you see the events? Like, the current events? Now I've played with you. But yeah, they're not that bad, actually. This one's the only one that's even reasonably tough, and that's because even with decent fire resistance, a uh, Pink Rathian can do a lot of damage to you, but just bring an Ice Cloak for, like, Yana, because, let's be honest, most people aren't going to have Ice Resistance. At least I don't think they would. Um, you do, obviously, but... Just bring that Cloak so you don't have to deal with the Blight, and then you're fine. This one is super easy. I haven't even done this one. Apparently this one's not even worth doing it, because you only get two decorations. And this one, I just don't even think there's anything special about it, so I just haven't done it. But I have done these two. And this one... When it says it gives you bonus uh, hunter rank points, it means it. Like, it basically gave me a full level. Of course, I did level up off of it, but... 
it pretty much gives you a full level. It's great. It's really great. Oh, that reminds me. I need to fertilize the plants before they go. Like, before all the boosts go. <laughs> Thankfully, I remembered that. Anyway, so what do I need now? A guaranteed commendation? That's really it. That is whatever. It's really whatever. Anyway, I've got 246 uh, yeah, of those. What about this? Let's get a few more parish rooms on the table, eh? I got that done. Any other quests that anyone wants to give me here? Nope. Because right now I'm just basically rolling through all the optionals at the moment. But I do need to check one thing. Upsurge and amber deposits. Would that give me more canteen ingredients? Or is, now that's just faster generation, isn't it? Hmm? Oh hey, Black Diabolus is about here. I actually do need to get around to taking that out. Now that's a good question, I don't know. Um, apparently I'm going to be able to keep my progress from generations on it, but I'm not sure if, like, that's going to be an easy thing to do. Okay, so the upsurge does get a special, and so I guess I won't be going for the, uh, Black Diablos then. That's unfortunate. I really need to. Personally, like, I'm scared of it, so I'll admit. I don't really like Diablos. I never have. What other than the signed missions? Anyway. Got quite a few, um... Got quite a few tempered investigations, though, don't I? Why do I keep going to assigned? What am I doing? Hey, I'm gonna have to do this one after I go to the... To here. Um, you're saying it gives me a fish ingredient, but I'm talking about both deposits, because there's an orange and then there's a blue. All I'm doing is trying to just fill it out. But blue doesn't? It's unfortunate if blue doesn't, because I believe that's the one I'm kind of after. Okay. Good. Then I can knock these out of the way, then. This would mark me having both the Elder Recess and the Desert ones, assuredly. I think I might have another areas, but I'd have to keep a mental note of it. As long as it's just an upsurge that matters. Like, as long as these currently give it to me right now, that's all I need. Also, you're not being very clear. You keep saying yes, like, if the amber's upsurging, then I can get the special ingredient from blue. Oh, great, so I can't get it. That's annoying. So I might as well just not even gather them. You're not being very clear about that. I don't remember where all of them are. 
I don't have a cool drink on me, but I can easily make that on field. I'll just go get it from here. Oh no, I'm dying of heat. I already know that the uh, previous games, they wouldn't actually give you stuff like this. Like, I don't know if you could even make cool drinks. Or at least didn't readily have them. Like, I definitely know you didn't readily have the ingredients on hand next to the volcano at all times. So you had to become prepared. I might as well do a spot of mining here. I've always needed fusium. Come on, give me the ingredient. I might already have this one, too. I wouldn't know. Also, would amber really be this close to, like, a uh, magma, lava, whatever you want to call it? This seems a bit odd to me, that it's this close to it. Can't imagine imagine the uh, insect inside of it is too happy about it either. I don't have two fish, and this place gives me two fish. That is, um... That's a weird way to assume that, but alright. Are you saying, like, I only don't, like, need two more fish to complete it or something? Why did I, why did I pick up Anto Herb? When did I? Yeah, I know. I'm looking for him. I don't remember all the amber spots because I generally don't remember any of the placements for them. I'm just taking a few laps. Hello, guys. Uh, this sword always reminds me of one thing. Like, it always reminds me back in, um... What was it? Back in Freedom Unite, the... There was a special mining zone over in the farm area, because there was actually a separate farming area. Uh, there. But, um, that you unlocked after beating, I think, a, uh, an Elder Dragon. And it was like this giant sword. Like, it was huge, massive, and honestly, very broken. It obviously wouldn't be any help to anybody. And I don't mean even mean greatsword size. I mean, like, pretty much wielded by a giant size. A, uh, and you actually mined from it to get some special materials. I don't know if I have all the meats, why? I definitely know that I have an optional for meat. Cool. Oh, there's another amber deposit. Also, that's even better, then. Honestly, meat and fish are kind of my favorites. I barely ever go for the elemental resistance. The only reason I went for it right there... Also, hey, there we go. Got it. Might as well finish this up. And I got what I came for. Might as well get some footprints on all of Asia. Oh, hey, Tempered. Was it or was that counted as a mystery print? I could have sworn that showed up as a mystery print. Yeah, I know I did. What, are you saying there's two of them or something? I 
I mean, I'll take your word for it, but if I'm sticking around here for like 10 minutes, for like 10 minutes and still haven't gotten it. Because I swear, all these deposits only had like two. Like, they only had two and then one rare. I could have sworn that's how it worked. I actually pay attention to what I'm picking up, though, first. Because if all I'm getting is Gaia Amber, then... I suppose you're right. Yeah, Dragon Vein Amber, see? Isn't that what I just got or something? I don't even remember what I just got. I wasn't really paying attention, I was just waiting for the special sound. Ah. Uh. Because I can only imagine how boring this would be right now. Like, tune in, just scraping up Amber, awful Thor. Don't mind me, I'm just playing Monster Hunter, scraping Amber. Doing nothing that the title implies. I guess I fought a Kieran earlier. Can I just get this item? Also, what do you mean I don't get it here? Because right now it's upsurging. I've already told you this. Like, so I did get the item or I didn't? You gonna be a little bit clear? Hmm. I wouldn't know where that is. Is it maybe Teostra's lair? Because I don't have access to it, actually. Weird. I already slayed him. Why do I not have access? Like what, are you talking about, like, is it up top or something? Anyway, Basil's just traveling around. Is it really at the Gajakala camp? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh... I know exactly what you're talking about, then. Might as well see if I can get the rare drop from these. But yeah, I know exactly where that is. I'm actually right next to it, I believe. I just need to jump down here. Sight shroom. But yeah, that's actually kind of annoying. If it really is down here. Because I'm pretty sure all the deposits are supposed to give you, you know, what you're looking for. Oh yeah, it's a shortcut. Fate bug. Yeah, see, this is only blue. This is an amber. Is amber down there? You sure about this shark? Because uh, I don't see any orange. I don't see any at all. Is it maybe in here? Can I catch any of these? Huh? Yes, I can. Huh. Hmm. Apparently, I already did that. Hey, here's another blue. There's an orange. Oh, that's a rare. Oh, there it is. Yep. 
You were right, apparently. I guess it's just a single spawn? Weird. Oh, there's a new campsite. Hey. I knew I was forgetting a campsite. I knew I was forgetting one. Oh no, my cold drink is worn off. Oh no. What's over here? Hey, yep, got that food piece then. But yeah, I definitely don't need to be here anymore. But yeah, I always forget about this place back here. What's the barrel deposit at like? Did I already search that? I can't. I can't jump back up, can I? Hold on. Yeah, I can. Never mind then. But yeah, that's that. This one has flourishing gathering points. I believe I'm missing one here, but I'm not sure, because I've already got the fossil one, I believe. But oh well there. I've done enough of nothing for now. Time to go hunt a Odegurin, then a Teostra. Because those are optionals I need to hunt. It's a good job on the Tail Raider and my Feline's part for getting more Fusium. Yeah, there we go. More food. I should probably take this in. Oh, three energy drinks. Sweet. I don't use those. Ten million celebration item pack. That's a little bit excessive. That is quite excessive. Oops. I mean, it's a great Jagras, come on. Why are you sleep bombing a great Jagras? Like, in all seriousness, why? Did you have a problem with it or something? <laughs> like, I really don't understand why you'd ever want to sleep bomb a great Jagras. I just don't understand. Just trying to blow it up or something? I mean, just to go Gunlance. Honestly, my favorite way of dispatching one in quick fashion is actually the, uh... The strategy called just bring a heavy bow gun. Metal. Or just Wyvern Hardem. If you got a good enough bow gun, you'll likely end up killing him outright before you run out of ammo, as long as you're hitting him. Doesn't need to be asleep or anything. You just keep going boom. Why do you keep saying boom? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something now. I really feel like I'm missing something now. Any queens? No. The Legion is about, obviously. Here's a footprint. Hey, 
Hey, Gadgetal is here. Now that reminds me, I need to check something on my guild card real quick. Well, I can't check that, apparently. Okay, so there's also a Tizzy on the field. I still think the Shamoses are pretty cute in this game. Well, that's bad luck. Hi, Tizzy. Ow. Okay, now that's... that's a little bit nuts. That is a little bit nutty, Shark. Three. It's just a little nutty. I need to get offended about it, God. Okay, buddy. You wanna be cheap? I can be cheap. I'll just run back at an angle on that. Oh! He's being cheap again. Oh, hi, Tizzy. That's a big Tizzy. I guess we're gonna have a small diversion. That is a really big Tizzy. Oh, hey, Turf War. <laughs> wow, Tizzy got destroyed on that one. But yeah, I'm gonna want this Tizzy. I feel like that Tizzy's way bigger than normal. Aren't they a little bit more head level, usually? Like, am I the only one here thinking that's a bigger tizzy than normal? Am I? Yep. The music seems to have just pieced out. There we go. For a second I thought I was paralyzed. Come on, just lay down. Just lay down. There we go. I kind of wanted to do the finisher, but hey. Okay, it's capturable. Good.
What? Okay. Let's hope this deploys fast enough. This way. Come on. There it is. We will see the size of that later. I guess I'll have to get confirmation on my own about that. I'm already at max flash bugs still. Actually, I don't need to go in here. I need to go around the side, don't I? No, I don't. Hmm. Come on, just teleport up. Nope. Damn. Shamoses are being asses. Come on. Hmm. That one's really close. Actually, um, considering Odegarn's path, I could probably just move to him by default, for sure. One thing I kind of wish, at least as far as Twitch is concerned, is I kind of wish that it didn't count me as far as the viewer count goes. This is a tad weird to me. It also obviously kind of causes me to like look at it and be like, oh my god, there's two people, and it's like, no, there isn't, it's just me and someone I know. <laughs> oh, come on! No. Screw you. Ah, I was still in range. Whoa! I like the little Shamos he's trying. Swipe, yep. Boop. There you go. Ah, I didn't hold it longer. <laughs> Shamos is doing a good job. There's the tail. A little forward. Dang it. Come on. Good. I had a feeling that wasn't going to end up hitting me. Dang it! Baby stress. Just doing the twirl into overhead. Uh, I remember back when I would only do that as a great sword user. Just directly going the twirls. Admittedly, it was kind of the only thing you could do back then, because there wasn't like the chain a uh, hits. So you didn't have like a chain of attacks to do. I didn't get the first aid meds again, did I? They're trying to disengage. I'm gonna try my best to not let that happen. Okay, now they're disengaging. And that's capturable disengage, for sure. That's gonna be simple. And then I'll be on the Teostra and have an actual fight, maybe. 
Maybe. I think this one goes over the Tizzy's home. I'm not positive, though. Guess not. Just put a shin in there and go in. And there we go. We've got some new fresh meat. Screw you, Seamus's. Hmm. So you can still catch the bugs even if you're full. Wonder uh, what happens to it if you're actually full. Or does it just stay there? Does it just stay there until I go into my inventory and have to sort it out or something? So weird. So what's the jewel about? It's probably bad. Yep, iron skin. Yeah, that was really large. Look at that. I knew that tizzy was looking a bit bigger than normal. Knew it. Anyway, I should probably check over the research base. That seemed like it was a research base quest, considering it gave um, it gave a drink, and the research base tends to be the ones giving those. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Up search and bone files. Yeah. Yeah, I want that totally. Anyway, time for Teostra. Which is definitely one that could actually kill me. So let's try to not have that happen. Now if I were to take this off, I'd be losing 10 defense. Should I really take this off? No, I shouldn't. Definitely keep Anti-Blast on though. And I know, I've had Tail Raiders going on for a while. I just haven't accepted them. I don't know why. I just haven't grabbed all their loot yet. Really should, but... Really don't feel like it. Oh wow, this is atrociously bad. Yeah, I'm missing three fish. I'm missing a whole row of herbs, though. Missing three drinks as well. And I'm missing um, four food, like four meat. Four meat, three fish, five vegetables, and three of the drinks. That's what I'm missing. to mute my mic a second. No, I don't, so. There's that. Kind of lost anything to talk about, though. It's a shame. Yostra is actually strong against Dragon, but, I mean, I'd prefer the Elder Seal, that's for sure. I guess there's not really much I can yet, so I guess I should get the uh, Mega Nutrients.
I can get this optional out of the way. That's everything I need. That's everything I need. Perfect. Let's do this. Drink that. Is this? No, oh, there's a gastronome tuna in there, it seems. So what appears to be a goldfish, but nothing really else of note. Then I want to grab this. And then get moving. Oh, hold on. This time, let's not forget the first eight minutes. And the rations. There we go. Much better. I don't really remember where Teostra spawns in this map. I do kind of remember where all the tracks are. Also, bad weather today, isn't it? All I know is I better find him fast. There he is. Hello. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy, just give in. Two and three. Take it out. I want to go for horns instead of tail. That stumble, though. Hey! This is not very favorable conditions for Teostra, I don't think. Two and three! See if I can get that second hit off at least. Aha! Just whipped. Alright, is he going back down there? See if I can adjust the audio on this a bit. Oh. Oop. There we go. Down we go. Oh, hey, that was a track. I need that. I need to get Discovery on him, at least. Hey, got the scale. Sweet. I actually need one more of those for the uh, Dota Gamma Horn. Did I miss any others? Nah, it didn't seem like it. Rumble, buddy. Let's 
see if I can get a full charge off. Yes, I can. I'm not gonna want to be here. Yep. Let's get rid of that. Side check? Nope, that's just a swipe. I don't really fight Teostra much. I'm not fully aware of their uh, of their kit, to be honest. That's kind of sweet, me, isn't it? Yep. Okay, it's done. Not a great time to be stunned. that up. Yeah, his, um, his rage is getting a little bit too much. Oh. Why? Why were they throwing rocks at the house? Whoa. Ah. I'm being really cautious right now, because he could do his blast thing at any moment. I know I don't know the exact timing on it, but I definitely know it is not a good thing to leave myself open to that. The randomness is fine. Honestly, the thing about it is that all the buffs are good. Generally, the rarer ones are the ones you don't really need too much. Is that it? No, that's not it. That might be it. Come on, just, just pop, dude. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. The shield isn't too reliable, because it doesn't keep them on your feline 100% of the time. I'd like to fight, buddy. And the Plunder Blade doesn't always work either, it's just random ingredients. Thunderblade's just as random, without any utility. Personally, I find the, the horn to be rather reliable. It generally reliably gives you buffs that actually matter. Also, this is a very laggy boss, I've noticed. Can you, dude, can you pop your rage already? Like, it's scaring me. And I have to play way too cautiously because of it, because I'm not a sword and shield user right now. Come on. No? Okay. It's a fun monster, yeah. It's a pretty fun monster, I'll agree. Like, 100% even. Uh, Mizu, which I like to call Mitzi for some reason. Um, it's the Soap Dragon. That one's pretty fun. It's not great, though. It's It was pretty easy and simple, to be honest, but it was a thing. Is he gonna pop yet? Come on. Pop the bubble, please. <laughs> I'm just always too, like, paranoid about it, when they haven't.
Oh well. Won't have to worry about it with this. But yeah, a uh, Mizu is the soap dragon. It really is. Like, um... Like, there's not really any other way to describe it other than that. Yeah, it used to be slime. Uh, blast, like, slime became blast. Slime was ridiculously overpowered. But yeah, no, there's other slime bosses as well. And honestly, even though it was called slime, it wasn't really that much like slime. Oops. Also, I've pretty reliably had stun resistance this entire time for the orchestra. Like, I have no idea what you mean by unreliable. Also earplugs, actually, but... Eh. I mean, you could say it was kind of more like a plastic explosive or something, but, um... It wasn't really like that. It was still, like, fire. It was always fire. It's just that a uh, the first monster that had slime had it be green. But it would always explode on you. So yes, that's why Blast does stick on you, because it was like a sticky thing. That's what the Blast Bite was. Come on, buddy. Please, just explode. I have to play way too cautiously, because I don't feel like getting blown up by it. Fire. Ah, dang it. But yeah, it was kind of like combustible gelatinous material. You could also, I mean, admittedly, I would say that this one's kind of more like napalm for this. Like, it kind of sticks to you. I mean, it doesn't keep fire up, obviously, but I would definitely see that, because this one's definitely fire-themed. There it is. There we go, now he's popped. I can be recklessly aggressive again. Oh. He had to move out of the way. Dang it. Might as well get that last bit of hit in. Got a crafting list, craft flash pod, move it out. Oh hey, gotcha collars. Sweet, you guys will be helpful. Up uh, feeling. Please. Make friends. Make friends. But God dang it. <laughs> One day. Come on. Make a friend. A friend. Friend. Come on. No friends? That friend? That friend. That's a friend. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Ow. Ah, oh, dang it. I need to move. Dang it. That's blasting me too, yeah. Hey, thanks for the sun resistance, Fido. 
Here, give me another buff if you can. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that bomb went a little wide, Gajakala. Come on. Where is it? I don't want that. I want this. Hey, I got its tail! Come on. There's a swing. And there's a mount. And soon to be its face. Wow, I really screwed up the springs. Is its face gonna get stuck in here? I think that was a wing hit. Yeah, I think I'm getting wing hits. Oh, dang it! Come on! Move it over here. There we go. Ah, it's dying. What a baby. Maybe you wanna cry? Come on. Fight me! See if I can get a cheeky card. No, I probably can't. Yeah, I'm standing in fire right now. But I did get the card. Aww. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, uh, no, it's out of range now. So where's the baby going? Oh, that's not a way up. Look at him. I don't- I'm not quite sure the game can handle how injured he is right now. <laughs> Mineable. Did he drop some burning crap? Anyway, I think he'll probably be going to sleep soon. Yeah, he'll probably go to sleep in the Diablo Slayer. Let's find out. Uh, yep, that's asleep. That is definitely asleep. And there's the face broken. Boom! Doesn't do much damage because it's not a uh, weak to dragon, unfortunately. But it does do damage. Got it. Yay! It's donezo. And there's the other scale I needed. Perfect.
And here's an extra just in case. Hey, rare. I don't really need too many of the materials. Um, Maclite I am running a little bit low on, but... Eh. Just, eh, really. I really hate the rewards for some of the Elder Dragons, though. You get, like, barely anything. What's the gem? What is the dragon resistance? Fortitude! No, hey, look at that, a fortified gem. Just in case I'm bad at the game or something. There we go, finally hit 49 Hunter rank. I wonder if I'll finally have a quest to get that part. Yeah, the three Elder Dragons you're going to be hunting is Val, Hazek, Teostra, and... Oh, hey, there is an urgent mission. Oh, is it Kieran? Again? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, the one after that would be um, a different one. But yeah, so I guess I gotta go kill uh, Kieran again. What you grinning about? Yeah, it's a decent challenge, I guess. I mean, honestly, if you're trying to look forward to challenge, this, uh... This ain't the game. You want a different Monster Hunter for that. Speaking of, I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably go full out on Elemental Resist. Again. But yeah, if you're looking for challenge, this definitely isn't the Monster Hunter. It's like saying you're looking for challenge, so you can't wait until, like, the last monster in Nintendo Wii's try. Like, it's like, nope. It's really cool. I won't, I won't diss that. It is a really cool one. It's actually one of my favorite monsters in the entire series, but it is still pretty easy. Do I have myself still set up for electricity resistance, or should I say thunder? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Because I believe I'm going to have to do that in order to get my hunter rank unlocked out of 49. I was expecting something a bit more exciting, but... Oh, hey, there's actually a quest over there. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, that's probably turning in the quest, so that I can get the new material. I guess it might be that, like, other Vitality Mantle thing. Oh, it's Immunity Mantle. I guess that's Immunity to Blights. Eh. If it is, then I'd probably replace, say, uh, the Ice Proof that I always take with, like, Iana with that, though Ice Proof is probably a bit more... a bit better. Also, I mean, you're sitting there talking about, I'm ready for the challenge. Meanwhile, you've got this ahead of you. Got two tempered beezles. Oh, it's a tempered Kirin. Ooh. I haven't quite got a setup for it yet, actually. Hmm. Let me, let me sit on that for a second. I need to go see some stuff.
Here and stuff obviously has the four electricity resistance. So if I were to get this and this, that'd work out perfectly fine. And that would boost it by, um, not necessarily eight, per se. Hold on. I definitely know it wouldn't boost it by eight. Most is six right now. This is also a pretty good set, like the focus set. But yeah, I'm try. I'm gonna try and boost. Oh, like yeah, I brute force it. Force. My uh, my English ain't doing too good. No, that would be four six. Yeah, that would actually be an eight increase in it. So that would be what forty nine. Like with an eight increase, that would go to thirty thirty four. And before, it increased it by about, like, 15, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was by 15, so elemental up large is 15. So if I were to get an 8 increase, that would be 38. Not 38, 34. So that would be, uh, what? 59? If I were to wear two pieces of Akiran. Sounds pretty interesting. Of course, I'd have to wear this and this, which isn't the best look, but it's passable, I guess. Of course, I could also just stack Thunder Resistance like nobody's business on this one as well. Hmm. Anything else that resists Thunder that strongly? This one's pretty strong. Even Kadachi's only three. Uh, what's Damascus resist? Resist of Damascus is just uh, just piss, really. It's nothing. So yeah, I think I'm going to be hunting a few Kirins now. Oh, is Kirin actually pretty resistant to Dragon? Interesting. That actually means that missing out on a few things for the free elemental slash ammo up isn't too bad of an idea. Because I'd only be using my weapon for the other stuff. Or even Divine Blessing, but that one is this, which is recovery speed, which does help a lot with this. This loses out on the Thunder Resistance, so it doesn't. Where didn't it? Wasn't the Yodogurn kind of... Oh yeah, it's because I'm just doing this right now. Yeah, I could go like that. Also, wow, I pretty much have everything for that. I just need to get another tail. Hmm. This I can obviously make. I already have this. I wonder if there's any weapons that I can get that actually upgrade into something with free element dragon. I don't think there's anything such like anything like that though in this game. Why is this looking at me? That's weird. Then there's this piece of crap. The gems are alright, but other than that, eh. Hmm. Cause I definitely want Elder Seal in this. 
Is Ergon weak to uh, lightning? Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's not, actually. Huh. They could end up with Guard Up instead. Of course, I'd lose the super recovery from Valhalla. And I'd definitely lose a 3-slot gear, which would definitely be a bit unfortunate. Oh, this one actually does get Thunder Resistance. That's weird. Why does this get Thunder Resistance? Bizarre, honestly. I'm looking through my inventories too much, aren't I? How would it look, though? I guess I could do that. Getting this as well would be decent. obviously be ending up with that. Yeah, this is probably not going to look too great, though. Yeah, it's kind of meh. It's not the worst. But it's not like this. I don't know. By the way, I am going to fight a Kieran. Not the tempered one yet, though. I think yeah, I should probably check over here real quick. See if there's any new quests over here now. Though I don't think I'll get any until I've passed this A uh, way marker. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. See, so yeah, time to take on Kieran again. I should real quick check if I have investigation first, though. If I have investigation for Kieran, it'll just end up a lot easier on me. Pretty sure I don't, but I do. Huh. 15 minute Kieran fight. I did do that, didn't I? But I'd rather not. I'd rather take the one with more money anyway. I mean, more golds is fine, but two silvers and a gold is perfectly okay for me as well. I should definitely take this as well for money reasons. Like money reasons. Just in case I ever need it. Did I get any, um... Nah, I didn't get anything special. Like, this is insane. Yeah, you can easily take it, I'm pretty sure. Again, this game's pretty easy. I already ate food in this game, right? Yes, I did. I'm already at the 41 resistance mark. Let's see. I'm gonna need one drink. And that should be bad. Away we go. Hopefully gonna get a tail from this, because I know that that drop isn't exactly the most common. And also, breaking it is the huge pain in the rear. If you want to take that as a pun, go right ahead, but... Because you do have to basically hit it in the ass a bunch of times before it, uh... It breaks the tail. Excite Shroom out? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't understand what you mean by Excite Shroom out. Yeah. I'm not sh like, Farcaster sh may might work on the last one. Might. 
or the footprint I want. I definitely want as much data as I can get. Yeah, look at that. Look at that bar of progress. Ooh. That is not doing so well. At least I know where Karen is. Hello. Uh, you basically already have it maxed out by default. Ah, dang it. Oh, come on. So close. I'll take that. That's hitting me, yep. Okay. Hit me. There we go. That probably could one-shot you. Not gonna lie. Then I don't know, just kill it. You do get a, a research for killing the thing, I believe. Same thing with part breaking. Gotta get a horn hit there. That was too much, yep. Whee! Right into my health booster. Dang it! So close. <laughs> hey, I still got the hit in midair. And there's a stun again. I'm out of range of that, Garen. Where is your right? Where is your accuracy going, buddy? There we go. Gotta move out of the line. Now get that thunder barrier out of here. Ah, dang it. Come on. There we go. I don't need to worry about that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure just a uh, fight them. You'll get the optional occasionally. Or you can look for SOSs. Two and three. I really want to just do as much damage as possible right now. There we go. Yeah, I can't block that. What am I trying to do here? for a full hit there. And slam. That's hitting me? Nope. But I got some good hits on the tail. There might be going for the big zap. Nope, no big zap. 
Oh, they're disengaging. But yeah, weird. I really, um, like, I'm pretty sure you should get it by default, at least. That reminds me of something. I'm not quite sure of something with this. Um, with Twitch real quick, so I'm just gonna check that real quick. And that is... What are my settings? I'm really just sat here uh, hanging, so I don't think. Anyway. So I've just been wondering if there's anything um, weird about it. I might as well turn that on. Yeah, nothing too special or different. Hmm. I was checking something, because obviously I've never really seen anybody, like, at least too many people just randomly wander into the stream. Just wanted to check if they, uh, I had on a private or something. Pretty sure I don't. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, back to Kieran. Hello. Dang it! And now it's limping. Dang it. Also, wow, even with a pause like that, I didn't expect to have hurt it that bad. There it is. You want that one. I don't want to move aside. And up it goes. So I'll just wait until it sleeps now. Didn't seem quite asleep to me, but oh well. Anyway. Boom! Got it perfectly. Yeah, I don't think it's tail is breaking this one, though. gonna hurt. Stop with the electric barrier, buddy. It should be sealed in just a moment now. I don't know if I need to get a solid hit on it or not, though. Come on. I probably do need to get a solid... Oh, paralyzed. That could be the death of me. There we go. Quick Mega Potion, and we're good to go again. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm rolling off this. Place that. Good. Even if I did get paralyzed, that's fine. My cat's not playing the uh, orchestra enough right now. I need to get it back on the game of it. That should have sealed it for sure. Yep. On break. Dang it. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep trying to break it. It's definitely going to slow down the fight a bit. doesn't find that, apparently. That's its tail almost broken, I believe. Oh, oops. <laughs> Whoopsie doozies. Probably not getting a tail. Probably gonna have to farm Kieran again. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. Just carved a tail. Just carved two tails off. Thank. Thank. Hey. I just murdered it with a 30, I think. Oh, anyway. Grab that. Jump off this, aim over there, and there we go. Whee! Yeah, I got a few tails. <laughs> and another tail, and another tail. Oh god. Yeah, I think I'm good on tails now. And three gems. Prep, Spore Puff, and Sun Hound, all of which are kind of meh. Spore Puff heals you whenever you activate a Spore Puff. It's not particularly interesting. Certainly a unique concept, but there isn't enough Spore Puffs for that to be really worth the dang. What do you mean, does anything even sleep? Like, do you mean, does Basil sleep? Uh, yeah, there's one. I believe, uh, Aragon and Radoban both can inflict sleep. Aragon has a toss-up in their abilities for inflicting sleep between either a explosive one or a sleep one. A, a Radobon only has the sleep one. It's a very not common move and it's pretty easy to dodge. Did I even need tails for anything else? Yeah, I did, I guess. Missing out on the recovery speed, but oh well.
I do. Re I've always hated the horn, honestly. It's very mad to me. Yep, there's that. And now I can't make this because, yeah, I'm down a horn. But I can make this. So I'm actually close to basically being able to make a full set, actually. If I really wanted to. Then I could look like this, even though I never really want to. I just don't really like the top with this. It just doesn't match, and I'm not really fond of this top either. Play resistance is always fun. But yeah, let's see. Theoretical max outside of, like, any other kind of thing that I can think of, like maybe a hunting horn buff, would be, uh... It'd be this. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Um, it'd be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Then you get 40 from the Thunder Resistance, then 55 from the Element Up L. So... Yeah, interesting. Because hmm. it would be 20 for the set, 20 for the Thunder Resistance stuff. Um, actually, no, there'd be plus 3 in there, because it'd be 20 for the set, 20 for the Resistance uh, gems, or the Resistance a uh, stat. Then there would be 3 from Defense 4 on top of everything, so we're going to add that last. So it would be 20, 40, then 15 from an element up L, which would mean, obviously, 55. So 58 would be theoretical max, not counting hunting horde buffs. Also, wow, I've got a few, I've got a few cores. Oh good, this set actually goes up to 70. Awesome. Seventy-six is the max currently on a lot of other stuff though. I resuscitate, um, I can see usefulness in it. It incre it gives you um buffs when you're in a pinch. Like stamina reduction is definitely worth it. It's it's not it's kind of a more nicety thing though, as far as I'm aware. Like it's more for the nicety out of it instead of anything else. Um, if you're trying to uh abuse that, what you definitely would want is funnily enough the setup that I kinda have, which would be divine blessing with um with Valhazic stuff, though I don't have it just yet. I need to actually make that. I've already made this. Well, I do actually have it, now that I think about it, but I would need... I would definitely want this instead. If I were to, like, sacrifice the dragon attack, at least. Because then I'd end up looking total like this, which is alright. That's not a real look, I guess. But yeah, that way you'd have super recovery, so you'd have recovery on top of it. But I don't really see any reason to abuse anything for Resuscitate. Like, since it only gives you a buff when you're currently debuffed, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose to do anything other than that. Also, speaking of, I really wish I had a Handicraft Gem. I could really use it. Yeah, I'm probably going to hunt a, uh, a Kieran again, just so that I can check something. First, got to find this set, though, that I'm looking for. It's Aragon, specifically. Where is it? There it is. Which would be this setup. Not the most fashion-forward, of course. But hey, it works. I definitely prefer this one. 
And I mean, with the free defense boost as well, and the free thunder resistance, that's actually a pretty good setup. Do I even have the Fusium to do this, though? Also, I already have this, so I guess I'd have to stick with that. That'd be three guard points as well, interestingly enough. Also, wow, this is actually really fire resistant. Aragon Carapace, that might be something I'm missing out on. Yeah, I just have enough for that, don't I? For these two. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take this. The defense boost is worth it. These are stuff that I've been wanting to actually build for a while, now that I think about it. Hey, this stuff goes up to 72, actually. Interesting. That's really interesting, actually. There they are. Certainly a setup look, uh, look, isn't it? Yeah, the reason I've got 20 resistance right now, I believe, is because... Oh, I actually have 20 resistance by default like that? Yeah, there's the max then. So then what I could do is uh, something like... Hold on. Something like a uh, this, where I would get... Uh, where's Thunder Resistance? Get the two thunder resistance right there. And Ty've already got 34 right there. Because that gives me thunder resistance of that. I lose the critical eye, though. Which is an unfortunate loss, to be sure. I got part breaker on top of it, though. Hmm. No dragon attack. I could obviously add that back with gems, though. What's the fire resistance on it? Not bad. It's not the greatest. So <laughs> that ice and water resistance, though, dang. But yeah, this is actually a pretty resistant set, all things considered. And I mean, if I really wanted to, I could get even some extra defense um, to bump up the default defense. Like, with everything, including the armor charms, I've actually got 417, so yeah, I'm actually more defensive than I normally am. If only I had handicraft gems. This would actually be perfect for my lance. Uh, specifically, this lance. It'd actually be perfect for it. Because then I'd have um, a, a guard up on top of everything. So I'd be able to block anything. I'd also have 3 out of 5 points in guard. But the decent bit of Marathon Runner, though, that's not Constitution, so that wouldn't help me too much. But that would help me with charging, actually. Like with the charge on the lance. If I wanted to do that. Yeah, it's a pretty decent setup, actually. I like it. I just really wish I had um, handicraft gems. They'd be so helpful. But yeah, I can add another point of uh, part breaker to this if I really wanted to as well. Hmm. I can get Grinder to do like a pseudo 
version of it, but it's not really that great. If only I could use Brace or something. <laughs> I wonder if this would be pretty interesting. Yeah, I'd probably put jumping in that for extended evasion. Yeah, like 34 base just resistance, that's ridiculous. That really is ridiculous. If I wanted to make myself resistant to anything that could potentially matter... Then I could just do this. I have full resistance like that. Uh, if we had one more slot here, we could actually make it so that I'd, I'd have even uh, more defense. Because I could then put another resistance in there for dragon resistance for an extra 10 defense. Yeah, even there, like, 29 fire, like, dang. I'm resistant to just about anything that matters. And with 397 base defense, all I'd have to do is slot in a defense jewel and I'd be set. Like, then I'd have just 400 base. I'm wasting so much time. <laughs> I really am. Do the Urgron Greaves uh, the beta actually give an extra slot? Also, I just threw so much money out the window, I just realized. Nah, they don't give an extra. They only give the tier 3, so I'd have to have... Um, a gem that could actually give two defense or something. Well, two of a resistance, rather. I need to move this. Yeah, this is actually incredibly defensive. Fire resistance, sudden resistance, guard, marathon runner, a uh, divine blessing. Yeah, like if I just slotted two more guard gems in here or something, and also some constitution, I'd just be able to defend anything. Anyway, I'm going to diet real quick, then quickly BRB. Then maybe just, like, test this out on something. Yeah, that's just the band. That's good enough. The chest is, uh, once again, just the band, I suppose. So you just make it that. Arms, I believe, would be the inner parts, yep. I could just go full white. But going with a nice metal gray seems like a better idea. So what changes about this? Oh, it's the grating. Weird. Might as well just go with the default color on that. And the legs, I mean, white's pretty nice. But I could go for the metal gray as well. You know, I'm just going to go with white A uh, limbs then. Looks a little funky on the gloves, but hey, eh, whatever. That's the full thunder. And then, if I were to, say, get all this... Oh, actually, no, not that. I want all of this. Also, wow, it's not a good vegetable day, is it?
But yeah, elemental resistance up. I don't know what Blindsider does to Flash Pods, Shark. I really don't. But yeah. So overall, with this setup, I've improved my Thunder resistance by just 8. Like I thought, so 49. Might have overestimated a few things uh, as far as the defensiveness goes. Is this equipment only 3? Yeah, Ergon only gives one a, a Thunder resistance as well. So if I had full Kirin, out of like 3, 6, 9, I'd have 9 more, really. Wouldn't I? I wonder if Elemental Resistance Up is based off of something else, because it was 36 before, right? So it's only 13? Yeah, I know it says it improves it, but I really don't know what it does. I've never tested it, and I don't really see any reason. The range on it's really good already. But yeah, beard back. Also, you know, I haven't actually checked this, so I will do this real quick right before I get off, but, um, and not get off the game, but, like, just shove off to oh. Kieran or whatever. But I haven't... Is there a Kieran Lance, actually? I don't think there is. No, there is. It's a very weird-looking shield, though. Also not that good, honestly. I like the idea of the Babel Spear, though. It's very interesting looking. So that's 460-270. This is 460-120. This would probably end up a bit better against, say, uh, that. So yeah. Unfortunately, I might have to actually switch to this instead. It'd probably end up a lot better... ...statistically. Unless you're going for weaknesses, at least. I guess a gem slot, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway, time to go test this. Because I'm testing, like, guard up. 
if what it says is true, then it should a uh, it should actually result in being able to block the thunder strikes. Just because a, uh, just because I'm using a lance, might as well make a single, solitary mega demon drug, just to get some extra damage out of it, and then sort that. Okay, I've got everything up and ready: defense boost, fire resistance, thunder resistance, guard, marathon, divine, yada yada. Let's set a decoration real quick, because I definitely didn't set them all. Yeah. Can reduce duration of stuns, which is good. That's a pretty decent idea, but I could also go for an attack boost, a vitality boost. Vitality might be a better idea, thinking on it. I'll take vitality instead of jumping. Anyway, instead of jumping, I'll maybe take defense? So I could take defense to raise my default defense up to 402, which is pretty good. Yeah, I'll do that. Yep. Alright, let's hunt this. Let's see how it works. Oh, okay, buddy. Anyway, might as well completely drink this up then. That's useless. Shield, this shield acts really wonky, I'll be honest. I swear the animations didn't used to be so screwed. Anyway, quickly grab that. There we go. Oh, hello. Yes, I can. Okay. New test. Um, this equipment has, uh... What in it? The defense boost. So I just lose a little bit of defense on top. But yeah, new test. Let's see if I can do that with the uh, greatsword. Because normally you can't block those, I believe. This one still has the blast. Yeah, let's see if I can block it with this. Oops. That wasn't what I was trying to get. There we go. Oops. Come on.
I want a real lightning bolt. Come on. Give me some lightning. Like a real zap. Like one of those line zaps. Come on. Not that kind of zap. Come on. Can you do better than that? Whee! That's gonna be heal. Yes, I can! Holy crap! That is... Guard Up is a powerful boost. Also, I just got stunned. <laughs> Thanks for the stun negation a little late, Feline. Good effort. I don't know if this will reach. Dang it. Stop with the Thunder Bear, you piece of crap. Yeah, that's pretty impressive that you can block that. That's not good. <laughs> I'm doing so horribly right now. He just running. Come on. <laughs> okay, why is my Elder Seal not working? Like, my Elder Seal should be working right now. Eh, anyway, might as well switch back to the Lance and keep it thematic. Yeah, I can't- I can never remember how to reverse that. Oops. Wow, not even a dent. Oops. Not even a dent. Holy crap. This is a little... This is a little nuts. Oops. I let that through my defenses, didn't I? 
Holy crap. Oh, hey! Ow. Wasn't expecting to be facing that direction. Hey, okay, there's the problem with this spear. That sharpness is a problem. A real big problem. Oh. right here. Perfectly safe. Ah, I should have blocked. But I can't, like, transition the block if I keep tanking. this. Come on. Dang it, I was out of position. Come on. Yeah, I definitely need to make myself a Nergigante spear. Come on, close him. Ah, I already used my counter. Grab that. Kill that. Keep on moving. Was that a... Was that a tail break or a main break? Oh, you're already limping, buddy. Whoops. Yeah, the Lance never really looks that impressive, I'll admit. But it's pretty good. And you can do silly stuff like that. Unfortunately, this monster is so small that I can't, like, hook myself into it. That's what I want. Also, something that's risky, but I've always wanted to try, is this. Yep, I can do it. Perfect. Because I've been theorizing I could do that for a while, but I never actually tried it. I should move aside for Kieran. Hi. <laughs> Going to sleep. Going to sleep. Well, I don't really have any, like, super, super duper ultra awesome hit to do on it, so I mean, I guess just, uh, 
Hmm. Yeah, I should probably buff up. Sounds like a fantastic idea. Here, why don't you do that again? I like that song. There you go. Perfect. And yeah, I broke its horn through its butt, apparently. Oh, that was a bad counter. That was also a bad counter. Move forward. Forward again. I don't care about your lightning, buddy. Ah, you got me on that one, though. And that might stun. Oh, wait, no, I'm stun negated now. I definitely want to block that, though, just in case. What's that last first aid med? Might as well use it. Nice electric barrier, buddy. Ah, dang it. Totten hit stun. <laughs> well, that was wonk. I need a small heal. Try me. Ah. Ah, dang it! Thought I was out of that one. I like how this final stretch has taken forever, comparatively. Probably because of that electric barrier. It's a little bit annoying. Let's move, buddy. Try me. Yeah, I want to block that. Knew that one was coming. Oops. Put this up. Hey. Who needs a sharp blade? <laughs> I would say the test results are positive. They, um, absolutely. Guard up is pretty useful. Considering it especially allowed a, uh, a greatsword to just, to just tank it. You can block with the greatsword with guard up. That's amazing. Like, even Kieran's Thunder. pretty good. I, there's really no way that, about saying that other than that. It's just straight up good.
Heh, <laughs> thunder resistance, Joel. Yeah, what do I need for the Nerve Gigante one? I definitely need a Steel Lance, obviously. Oh. Pretty sure I have one. Yeah, this one. I don't have the Fusey more. Uh, uh. I only need Tails? Really? Oh. Obviously, I can't get that, but... That's pretty useful right there. I don't know. Also noticing there's like a little texture weirdness on the uh, emblem right there. Super weird. Hey, that was reasonably easy, I'll say. Don't I have like a stun resistance gem or something? Admittedly, I need paralysis resistance. What I'd probably want is, um, like I can't do a full triple threat for sure, but I would definitely want paralysis resistance and a, a stun resistance if I were to take on Kieran Tempered. I only have one thunder resistance, a uh, not thunder stun resistance jewel, which is rather unfortunate. Hmm. Maybe I should respond to an SOS. That'd be pretty fun. Hmm. But what SOS to respond to? I don't really know. Let me check their world map real quick as well. Nothing particularly interesting out yet. Lenin Researcher wants to talk to me about something, though. For a specific one. Can't remember what it is though. Ah, oh, yeah, it's this one. Let's see if there's any SOSs out. Hmm. I yeah, just high rank up, I believe. Let's see if there's anything out. The assigned ones are this. I guess a lot of people throw this stuff up for no Gigante, don't they? Wow, this person's got a lot of them.
I mean, I guess I could. Yeah, I'll do this. I've never actually responded to anything. Let's see how they fared. I just realized I don't really need the Kieran parts. <laughs> oh well, oops. Oh, I need that. Oh, I forgot to restock, didn't I? They named their cat Genji. Are you kidding me? There goes the felines. Dang it, I keep failing the input. Ah, crap. Come on. Dang it, Miyamoto. <laughs> he hit me out of my block. I'm placing this down now. Ooh, earplugs. Oof. Guess I didn't have enough stamina. Roar at me, buddy. I dare you. Might as well get the free heals. I'm very scared of that long sword user. Yeah, I did tip it. That's why I was guessing it was gonna happen. There we go. Oh! That's no good. There goes the tail, I think. This longsword user is making me legit want to die. <laughs> Might as well get a move on on that. I'm gonna need this, and I'm gonna need this. I also want to make sure that he's not after me first. There we go. There we go.
Come on, just flop over. Twist and out. It's heavily armored though, so the damage proc numbers aren't too high. Okay. There's the tail. All right. Let's hope, uh... Let's hope Suavo doesn't die again, eh? Oops. I don't want that. I don't want to block that for now. I had a feeling he was going to do his jump attack that a lot of people apparently died to. I'm really not letting him do the one attack. This seems like a bad idea. Uh oh. What? That was kind of bad. Let me just make sure he's not after me. It's like, yeah, someone healed me. Can't really see what's going on right now. Yeah, he's not out of the fight yet, that's for sure. Oops. That's my bad. Running away again. Uh, okay. I want to see if I can avoid these two, but the scout flies are making it a little bit difficult to see. Anyway, I'm going to be polite and not attack it uh, while it's asleep. I still sound like a bunch of tin cans going around. Oh, come on, Long Sorter. Oh, boy.
Well, we got one paint left, and we might still fail this, so. Nope. Try again, buddy. Go. Try again. Oh, crap. I don't want to be careful of this. Got it. Wonder if I'll get the tails I was looking for. I probably won't get the fusium, let's be honest here. I'd need two of them. Oh, I got one. Thus we shall part ways. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, go for fashion unless you're really going for specific skills. Also, yeah, I'm probably not getting the tails then. <laughs> that reward money. Oh god. Uh, yeah, but you gotta keep in mind that each uh, armor also can only use certain direct uh, decorations, so. And they don't supposedly upgrade infinitely either. But they do upgrade to be in line with one another pretty easily. Probably complete this. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost I almost messed this up. That could have been real bad. Had to mute my mic again. But, um... I'll definitely have to... Peace out for now. Though I'll check if I got everything that I needed other than Fusium, obviously, um, anyway. But I am almost entirely positive I did not get a tail for that. Not even a single one. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Dang. Got one QC more, though, so I can almost upgrade to that tier. That damage jump is ridiculous, though. It's crazy. What's the Babel Spear's damage again? I can't remember. It's at 460 as well, so it's nothing really too special. Its sharpness isn't even that good, but the defense boost, I guess, is pretty damn... valid. At the very least. Um, do I even have a fully ranked Kula Hasta? Yeah, I do. It would be this one. Ooh, that damage. That damage really drops off, though, doesn't it? Ooh. That's saddening. The negative 10 affinity really 
turns me off on that one. I just don't like that. How's my Gun Lance collection going? Wait, I haven't... I haven't upgraded this yet. What the heck am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Why is this not upgraded? Well, anyway. Yeah, see, this goes up to 460 and stuff like that, too, so I really might as well take this. Wide level 2 blasts, though. It's not great. This will be a long level 3, which is okay, I guess. Problem is, uh, your main issue with gun lances is generally sharpness. I guess this isn't too bad, though. Normal level 4 blast and everything. I might as well upgrade it. Just have that full setup. And, uh, as I said previously, I want to be piecing out for a small bit. Probably going to be relaunching stream and, uh, after I'm done with what I gotta do, so... Peace until then.